Okay guys, so for this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to be sending data to the node server using PHP. So in order to get started, I'm going to create a PHP file and I'm going to name it emit test. Hit OK. And since I already have the code copied, I'm going to simply just paste that right over here and walk you through it. So we included the autoload.php file in order to instantiate both the version 1x and the client. You also want to make sure that you include the namespace for both the client class and the version 1x class, which is right over here. Um, if you don't use it, it's not going to work. So just make sure you have it every time you use um, elephant.io. Now, for version 1x, we're passing it in the URL. And as you can see over here, we're putting that port number that we created on server.js, which is right over here. So we're creating an app on server.js and it's listening to the port number 3001. So 3001, it must be the same as the port over here. As they both have to match, okay? Because we're sending data to that port and this is listening on that same port, okay? Then um, we're instantiating the client class and we're passing it in the version object we just created with the URL. Now, once you guys are using it on your production server, you can change localhost to your to, to your actual domain. Now, uh, right over here on the emit function, the first argument that we're passing in is the key. This is what uh, socket.io is going to listen to in, on the server.js file, which I will be showing you in just a moment. Okay, so you can actually use any key you want. Um, but for this tutorial, since we're creating an order form, I'm using new order as the key. And then on the second argument is going to be the data that we're going to be sending right over here. So in this case, the data is an array. And once we send that over, it's going to be converted into a JSON format, which I'm also going to be showing you uh, soon. So it's going to be sending that right over. And now we just need to uh, create the function that will be listening to that event that we're going to be emitting using PHP. All right. So to get started, we're going to put, we're going to type in socket on, and we're going to specify that key new order. Okay. And then we're going to provide it a callback. And the first argument is going to be data. Okay. So this uh, data is actually going to contain the data that we're passing in um, on the second argument. So anything you pass in on the second argument is going to be passed in into this data variable. And in order to see, um, in order to make sure that's working, we're going to use console.log and I'll put that to the terminal. All right. So it's going to be shown over here. Now, uh, this my server is running from my previous uh, video I recorded that didn't have the code so in order to kind of like refresh and get the latest file I'm going to close the connection and I'm going to start initialize the server again so it's going to initialize the file with the I'm sorry initialize the server with the latest file and as you can see right over here okay so so that got initialized and then we're going to go to the emit test and we're going to refresh the page. All right. So once we refresh the page, as you can see over here, the value that we passed in is shown. All right. Now let me show you, like if I were to delete the R, okay. And just start that one more time and do that again. So if I delete the R, and refresh the page, uh, nothing will be shown. Okay, because it's because it's um, it's listening on that key new order. Okay, and that's not the same as here. So we have to just put a new order. So this is the key. And this is the data that's going to be sent to the server. Now one more thing I want to point out is um, in the next uh, video that I'm going to be making, um, in the next video I'm going to be making, we're going to be implementing this code into the contact form. So in the beginning, the, the best practice is to isolate the core functionality away from the, all that code that you're writing. 
And you want to do that in order to, um, you know, de debug any issues that might happen and debug it a lot faster. Um, so you can, you can kind of isolate the problem. So now that I see this is working, I'm going to just copy and paste that to the contact form that I created and, I do, and that I showed you on the first video. And uh, when I hit on, when I click on submit, it's going to be sending, it's going to be sending that event to the server.js file. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to be um, receiving that event using uh, jQuery.